Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and a fascinating puzzle today with a brilliant picture of an umbrella and some rain drops in. We'll, we'll get to that in a moment. I do want to mention first of all that on Patreon we have um, our linked Sudoku month, that's our monthly challenge, three Sudokus that are linked. Um, yeah, we've also been sent something for testing for next month's challenge, which which is going to be a bit meatier. But if you want an approachable challenge, join this month and have a go at the linked Sudoku. It is approachable. We've had hundreds and hundreds of correct entries. Give it a try um, and give yourself a pat on the back if you've done it already. Uh, thank you very much for your email, if so. And what else have we got on the links under the video? We've got all our apps. We've got the merchandise. We've got the catalogue of our puzzles. We've got um, Sven Sudoku Pad and how to get the 500k free pack through our apps. Brilliant. There's loads of stuff there. Check it out. Loads of puzzles that you can do. And um, we welcome any engagement with the channel, even in the comments. Please keep them kind. We like that. But let's have a look at this puzzle then today. Oh, no, there's also some crossword stuff. So Simon posted a crossword video on the channel. I've done one on Patreon recently. Loads going on all the time. Anyway, this puzzle is called Singing in the Rain. And James is notable. We've done a number of his puzzles before, and they almost always have brilliant artwork. This one is clearly an umbrella with some heavy raindrops, which is extremely appropriate for the weather we're experiencing in London at the moment. Heavy rain every night, uh, thunderstorms, and uh, I'm really hoping it doesn't continue tomorrow, but it probably will. Anyway, uh, an umbrella will be mandatory, and it is for this puzzle too. Now, what are the rules? Normal Sudoku rules apply. That's one to nine in every row, column, and box. Now, there is a knight's move restriction in this puzzle. So cells that are a knight's move apart can't contain the same digit. So those couldn't both be twos, for instance. And a knight's move is always two in one direction and one in, an, and one in another. So those two... So, well, let's see. This cell is seeing all of these ones by knight's move. That's how a knight's move works. Uh, now, we've got some black dots. They have a ratio of one to two. So... Each pair of these could be 1, 2, 2, 4, 4, 8, or 3, 6. Those are the possibilities. And now along the orange line, it's orange, not green, because this is Dutch whispers, not German whispers. And what that means is each pair of digits joined by the line, so those, or those, or those, or those, or those, etc., um, must have a difference of at least 4, not 5. So these could be 1 and 5, or 1 and 6, or 3 and 8, but they couldn't be 2 and 5, because they don't have a difference of at least 4. So those are the rules. I am going to give it a try now. Let's get cracking. And we've got a sequence of three digits connected by black dots. They all have to be different. So this has to go either 1, 2, 4, or 2, 4, 8. OK, so this 2 or 4... Right, I'm going to call it a low digit. If this was a German Whispers puzzle, I could run round the line highlighting alternating squares in low and high colours because they were all in a German Whispers with a difference of five or more. They all have to be higher than five or lower than five and alternate. Now, that doesn't work entirely in a Dutch Whisper puzzle because... Yeah, let's go through this. You can change... Polarity, you can change that alternation only in one way, by having a sequence of 1, 5, 9, which obviously doesn't alternate, that just goes higher and higher. But as long as you do that somewhere, then you can change the polarity, and that might well matter in this puzzle. So, 2 and 4, this is also on the line, right... This has to be four away, so it has to be at least a six. So this is a high digit. This is, in fact, eight. It can't be six. That's eight, and that's four. And I'm just realizing I could have written them in straight away. So this is two now by black dot rule. And by, well, and by the highlighting we're doing makes it low. 
Now, if we went round this sequence, high, low, high, low, high, that wouldn't work. So that's interesting. There is one polarity change on this side of the umbrella. That has to be high because four away from two. Well, it's on a black dot, so it's six or eight with a three or four up here. Uh, I'm not sure if it's worth colouring cells not on the umbrella, but I might as well. Now this has to be low now because that's not a nine. This has to be high. In fact, this is eight or nine because it's four away, four or more away from four. So that's nine because of that. And then how are we going to manage this? This has to be a five. This is very straightforward. We get a one here. I don't know what that is, but that's how we turn the corner. We've changed polarity once. Now, somebody in a recent comment section said they felt sorry for five. It deserved its own color. So let's make fives yellow. Now, this has to be high because that's a two. This has to be low. So it's one or three. This is six or seven. That means this has to be low. We can't hit a one, five, nine change. This is on a black dot. Oh, every single low digit can be on a black dot. No, yeah, even four, actually. I was going to say, because that can't be eight, but doesn't have to be. It could be two. Now, OK, here I don't know. And look, again, again, if we went high, low, high, low, this would have to be high, and it's not. So again, there's one change of polarity down here. There isn't room for there to be three changes of polarity. So there's one change of polarity. Ah, now I do have to be careful. In a previous puzzle, I think I said that this means there has to be one five in this section. And I may even have made deductions based on that. And that's not, I don't think that's actually necessarily true. Some people pointed out that, let's see if it works here. If you went one five, one five, nine, that would work. So there might be two fives in this section, but there's one polarity change. I don't know how to mark anything here. Let's look at this. Cent oh, what's this? Can't be one, two, five, four, nine or eight. Well, it can't be seven on a black dot. Oh, so it's three or six and that's a three, six pair. Oh, and I'm forgetting the knight's move. Has that done anything yet? Yeah, well, four sees that cell. Oh. <laughs> It couldn't have been four because of that number. Um, right, yes. Three and six are in those. So this can't be a three. Now, why do I say, actually, this can't either. Why do I say that? Because this one sees this by ordinary Sudoku and that by Knight's move. Same for this one sees that by ordinary Sudoku, that by Knight's move. Since we know that's a pair, these can't have a three in. And now we can suddenly fill them in. One, two. This has to be four now. I'm going to colour it. Uh, I might not keep up that colouring. This is three, six or seven to fill the middle box. Now this has to be high. So we're getting a bit closer. And there could still be two fives here, couldn't there? There's got to be a nine somewhere. I suppose it could be there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't quite know what to how to mark these cells. Oh, this has got to be low. Let's come down the and it can't be one or four by knight's move. So that's two or three. Now this has to be high. And after that I don't know because we could change polarity once down here. OK, what about this pair? Right, this digit can't be 2, 4 or 8. So it's 1, 3 or 6, making this one 2, 3 or 6 by black dot rules. I must keep keep thinking about the knight's move. It's probably going to be very important. Um, I don't quite know what to do. These can't be one, two, five, three, six, or four. So they're from seven, eight, nine. Uh, this one can't be nine. 
Oh, this is not worth pencil marking. How am I going to get moving again from these boxes? This. Uh, this is going to now be something fairly intricate about Knight's move, I imagine, to get going again. That can't be 2, 4, 8, 9, or 1, counting Knight's moves. Uh, 3, 5, 6, or 7, that's quite a few possibilities, unfortunately. Ah! Here's a, here's a little point. These three cells, counting the knight's move, they all see this cell. And there are three, six, seven pair, triple. So that means that this one can't be three, six, or seven, because whichever one of those it was would have, an, have nowhere to go in box five. So this is, well, it's five, six, seven, eight, or nine by the Dutch Whisper rule. But now we learn it can't be six or seven. No, oh, that didn't get a lot done, did it? This could still be a one. Do I know that there's a nine somewhere along here? I think maybe I do. I don't think this can be the nine in the polarity change because one of these two would have to be a one in that case, and they can't be. Okay, I'm just working out. One of those is definitely a nine, because we do have to change polarity here. I don't think we can have two nines, therefore, because this can't be it, but we can have two fives there and there. Oh, it's really weird, this puzzle. It's odd already. Um, Crumbs. I don't know what to do next. Uh, this can be a powerful position. It sees all of those cells. So nine has to be in one of those three. And that means nine couldn't be there, but well, we know that anyway. This one. Ah, if this was seven, it would be there. That's slightly interesting. It would be the only place it could go in box two if that was seven. And it would also be in one of these two. Be there, be in one of those. I don't know, that's not really getting anything done. Oh, we have to have a 159 sequence in this area of five cells. I think this has to be 1509 by that by that token. And actually I don't think this can be the five. Is that right? If this was a five, that would be nine. This would be a one, and that can't be by knight's move. So that's not a five. That is an extreme digit, one or nine here. Um, but it could still go eight, one, five, nine. That would work. Mm, I'm not thinking about the right things. What should I be thinking about here? Oh, one in this row is in one of those two cells. Which interestingly means that couldn't have been a one, but that wasn't a possibility anyway because it's high. I wonder if I'm missing something else like that. Five is in one of those cells. Ooh, where's five here? Not in those two. Nah, it doesn't do anything. Um, I 
Wow, okay, I don't know quite what I should be thinking of anymore. This could be low or phi. I mean, this is useless to me at the moment. One, this one is ruled out of those cells. Ah, one must be in one of those two, in fact, in box two. So then one's in one of those two. Okay, that's getting slightly interesting. Now one can't be in either of those two. This is the kind of knight's move rule. Wherever it is here, it's ruling out one in those. So one's ruled out of all of these. Now there doesn't have to be a one in use in this box. In fact, that can't be a one. If there was a one on this umbrella, it's in those two cells. No, it would have to be here. Can't be there by knight's move. So if there was a one on the umbrella, it's there. Then that's a one. One of those two. One of those two. Then this would have to be a one. It's getting interesting. We've got ones here. And one of these two. Uh, interesting is not enough, unfortunately, here. Crumbs. I don't know what's going on in this puzzle. What am I meant to be able to see? Two up here can't be in those cells, so it's in one of those. Sorry, one of those. If that was a one two pair, where would these do? Oh, it could be there. No, okay, that's nothing. Wow, what on earth is the next step here? Two is in one of those two. I hadn't noticed that, but it's definitely true. Right, hang on a sec. That means two can't be here. Because if it's in one of those two, they see both those. It can't be there or there by knight's move from that one. So two ends up in one of those positions. How about down here? Two can't be there because of those. Ah, that's getting more interesting. Two can't be here by Knight's Move, here by uh, Dutch Whisper. Same for those. Can't be there by Sudoku. Right, two in this row is in one of those two cells, which is surprising and true. Now that means, well, if this is a three, that's a two. It also means two can't be in these cells now. So two in column seven is now either here or in one of those two cells. No, it was quite interesting to find that two's in one of these, but it doesn't seem to have really got anything done, frustratingly. I'm sure that's not the next step. It might be a useful contributor to a future step, but it wasn't the next step, sadly. It does get very interesting, like if two is on the on the black dot, then we can place it here. Ah, oh, no, right, two can't be on the black dot because then in box six, it would be here. And suddenly in box nine, there is nowhere to put it. Since two's in one of those, it can't be there. And that's high. So two's not on this black dot, which is either three, six or four, eight, remarkably. And I'm not convinced this step 
is on the critical path of it or on the intended path of this puzzle but it is interesting right one can't be in those cells and since it now can't be there it's in one of those two and one of these three one in one can't be there oh i don't know this is getting a bit weird two in this column only has two possible play ah oh, hang on if one was there that would be a one then one in box one would be here this would be a one two pair i can't see how i get to use that if at all Ah, now, hang on. Two can't be in these cells because it's in one of those two. And it can't be there from that one. So two in box three is now definitely in one of these three cells. The only way that could be a two is if that's a two. What happens then? That's impossible. For those two to be a two kills any position for two in row seven. Wow. Okay, so that's not a two. That's quite a find. I mean, again, I don't know if that's the intended critical path, but it works. Uh, critical path. Well, I don't know why I keep using that term, sort of solving path. So that's a three, six pair. So this is a one. This is now a four, eight pair. That's not three or six. That's five or seven and if it was seven it would fix that cell three six one four eight so these are from two five seven nine that can't be five by night's move that can't be two this doesn't have a one or a four on it that has to be a three six pair bingo whatever that one is is different from that one. Oh, this can't be three or six so this is a four eight pair so that's not four or eight in fact, we've got a four looking directly at that by Sudoku. So there's an eight somewhere up here. There's a four in one of these two cells. Three, six, one, four, eight. That can't be two. That can't be two. Two in row two is in one of those two cells. So twos are getting quite interesting i'm highlighting possible two positions in each box um no it kind of peters out there ah seven is in one of those four cells and they all see that one this can't be a seven or there'd be nowhere to put seven in box two so that's six and that finishes the middle box. That's now six as well. Going to need a six down here. One, two, four, eight. Do I know what that is? No. Uh, oh, it's weird that those were helpful in determining this, but they are no help in determining each other. One, three, six, so four has ended up down here somewhere in one of these two. Could have done that a little moment ago. Um, now this four says four can't be in those cells. So in this box, four is in one of those. Two of which would put it here. Oh, that's not four. So this is where four is in box six. So now that can't be four because we've determined it's high. Four is in one of those two cells and the only place left in row eight for four is here. Uh, which doesn't see any of these by night's move. It just places one more digit in the grid. Wow, that's really strange, right one i haven't got any handle on that up here it hasn't changed one here though can't be in those three cells one also can't be here because it's in one of those two so the one in box one is in one of those three cells 
and that ends there as a trail of interest, unfortunately. Nine. Ooh, look, nine has to be in column five. Nine isn't in any of those, and it can't be there because nine is in one of those by the by the strange old rule. So nine is in one of these two cells in the column, and it's not here. Therefore, because we need the polarity change, it's in one of those two. Now, I still haven't ruled out five being in both of those cells, and I must bear that in mind. In fact, ah, one of these at least is a five, and I think whichever is a five rules out all of those from being a five. Those two are ruled out by the placed five, so five in this box has to be in one of those cells, and that is incredibly helpful, actually. It stops these being fives. It places five up here. Well, I don't know if that's incredibly helpful. It is true. Um, yes, none of those can be five. So fives up here along with eight. One of these two is five, but five sees that one by night's move. So five goes here. Two is there now. This is a seven nine pair. If they're meant to be resolvable, I don't see how. But they both reach all of these cells, which can't be 7, 9. Or 4, the ones that aren't 3, 6, can't be 3, 6. That one is a 1 or a 2, because it also can't be 5 or 8. No, it can't be 1 because of the pairing there. So that's a 2. That's a weird naked single 2. So I can place 2 in box 2. This is going OK now. I mean, it's been very tough, and it continues quite tough, frankly. Two is in one of those. No, it could be there. Ow. Oh, look, two there has fixed which of these in row seven, which was what got us going at all, is a two. It is there on the line, and that unfortunately doesn't fix any of the others on the line. That is still six, seven, eight, or nine, and I had none the wiser as to which. Right, they can't be twos, so two in this box is somewhere in this corner. Okay, come on, let's keep going. This is this is going all right. Now this cell can't be seven or nine because it sees both of those. It can't be three, six, two, or four. So it's down to one, five, or eight. <clears throat> I'd love it if I was missing something fairly straightforward, as long as I see it fairly soon. Now, down here, OK, we've got a 5-8 pair at the bottom. So let's remove the pencil mark. Now, what does that tell us? That tells us that these two cells can't be 5 or 8. They also can't be 9, because we know that 9 in the box is on the line. And they can't be two, and nine, one of them can be four, and one of them can be six. No oh, bother. Right, don't know what to do next. Oh, hang on, this is six, seven, eight, or nine. This can't be five because of that, so it is blue, it is low. And it's not four, so it's one, two, or three. It can't be one, because I think we've got one in one of those cells. So actually, that's two or three as well, as that used to be. This now must be high. It can't be five. And this can't be five, so it must be low. So at least, in fact, this is now one or three. We At least we know the polarities of these cells. Hmm. But maybe that's where that... Tr oh, it can't be one because there's a one in one of those. That is a three. So that's a two. This is helping. That Those two are not twos. Now that's not a two. We can place two in box seven. In fact, all twos are done. I repeat, all twos are done. This can't be a three. One, two, five, four, eight. These are from... 
three, six, ah, this can't be six or nine by, oh, this is a naked single. It can't be three, six, nine, one, five, two, four, or eight. And that is a seven. A weird old naked single. This can't be seven. Actually, it couldn't be, have been before. This can't be six by the whisper rule. So, oh, that's a seven, nine pair in the final column now. Four, eight, seven, two, nine, three. This can't be five or one. So that's three or six. This can't be one. These two can't be three. So I'm going to put one, five, six as possibilities. So is that that seven, nine pair is no use at all. That's so irritating. Ah, look, it is useful. What can this be if it can't be either seven or nine? Can't be five, four, three, two in the column or one, eight in the row. This puzzle is an absolute beast of an exercise in spotting weird naked singles. And you'd think we'd had enough practice, but no, it's difficult. Right, one of these two is an eight. One of these two, no, eight's only got one place in this box. It's got to be here. That sees that by knight's move, right. Eight, so this is one, seven, or nine, as are these two. Um, oh, three, six are a pair here and here, because there's a three, six pair looking at that cell. Right, there's a three, six pair there. What's that doing? Eight, five, two, nothing at all. This can't be five or seven. This can't be nine or three. Sure, surely I've got a pair in those. No, they're as useful as a chocolate teapot. Ah, so annoying, this puzzle. Keeps on not giving up. I still don't know how to do this whisper line. Right, this is six, eight or nine now. What about this? This is low or five. Can't be one. So that is now just three or five. And whichever it is can't go in those cells, which are, these are from three, six, nine, aren't they? Um, they must include a nine, so that can't be a nine. I didn't spot that. Oh, and it can't be a six. That's a given eight. It is spotting these awful naked singles. That's what we keep having to do. Eight there doesn't tell me which of those is an eight. Oh man, it goes on and on and on being difficult. I reckon we're getting close now to, to breaking through and finishing off, but it's easy to easy to claim that kind of thing, much harder to deal with it and do it. That is one seven or nine. No, it can't be one by night's move. Or because there's a one there. Two, three, five, six, seven, nine, four is in one of these two. I knew that. This can be seven or nine, and it's still obeying the rule. Okay, let's keep trying to spot these wretched naked singles now. This is a one, three, five. Ah, oh, that one can't be one or three. So actually, we've got a five, seven pair in the row, and those are a one, three pair. That can't be three. Does that one three pair do anything? Doesn't look like it, does it? I don't think it's acting anywhere else on the rest of the puzzle at all. Okay, keep going, keep going. We're getting close. If you just breezed through this puzzle and knocked it off, I am very jealous indeed. Now, this can't be one, two, three, seven, eight, or nine. 
and this one what about this one can't be three two eight one can't be nine because of those two. Oh, that's interesting nine nine is in one of these two and is seven this can't be one two eight three or nine no seven could be there but nine is definitely in one of these two cells now it can't be there because of the nine in those it can't be here because of that nine it can't be here or here because of the seven nine pair yes nine is now definitely in one of these two cells that can't be a nine so the nine in box eight is here nine we know is up there somewhere so it looks like that's not going to do me any good oh one is now in one of those cells it can't be here this is seven or nine actually i could have known that from up there earlier that's a seven nine pair now right eight two four this is one three five or six um doesn't there have to be a one here no that could be the one in the polarity change there's a five eight pair looking at that cell so it can't be five now that's a one three six triple so that one is five wow doesn't that do anything yes it does that does huge things that makes this a nine that makes this a one this can still be five or eight that's fine this is not a one now so that's a three six pair this is a one in the row uh, sorry there I'm trying to get rid of the one option that's a three six pair that both see this cell which also can't be an eight because it sees both of those I think this is four or seven as a result How does this carry on being tricky, unchecked? I keep thinking every time I can make a breakthrough that I'm there now, and it's not true every time. Right, that couldn't be a one. We know that's a seven nine pair. There is probably some very obvious only one candidate place somewhere, but it's tricky. Oh, man this is difficult to see your way through oh look six is looking up at that now um three sixes ah six no it's not necessarily in one of those two positions no that's not six is now in one of these two in column two Oh, no, four is in one of those three. That's not, it's not decided exactly how limited four is. That can't be nine. So nine is in one of those two positions. Right, nine must be in one of these three. What good is that? Don't know. Oh, I've got a one looking at this cell. Right, three and one are fixed there. Three, three, three in the first column. That's a three, that's a six. Oh, I'll be back in a second. Right, sorry about that. Edit, quick, <laughs> big life moment. My daughter returning from her first driving lesson. Anyway, where are we? Um, I can't remember where we are. I've had... <laughs> interesting conversation now not that this isn't interesting it is very interesting but i just can't remember where we were now we had a oh it's six it was something to do with six six can't be in those cells or that one from this six so it's here i think we're finishing that's a six that's a three that fixes this whole chocolate tree pot quadruple oh come on three there this is a four or five pair, so that's a one. Seven and nine are done. The line works fine. Gosh, we are finishing. I didn't realize we were this close. Nine. This has become a three because of the knight's move. No, because of Sudoku. Um, that is seen by that cell. So one and seven. 
got 158 at the top, that's 185. Oh, what's going on there? I don't know. Let's come down to the bottom again. That sees that. So four, five, eight, five. There were two fives on the line here. That's an eight. That's a six. Seven and four like that. Yes, we are finishing. Five, eight, nine, seven, four. Oh, got a seven, nine deadly pattern. Some, yeah, the look, there is the one cell that is looking by night's move into this pattern and breaking it up, making it non-deadly. And there we go. That is the solution. Now, I'm sorry, fives, that I didn't colour you. You deserved your own colour. But frankly, once we got off the umbrella and just finishing that bit, it didn't seem to matter all that much. So anyway, that's finished colouring the umbrella and all the fives. There we go. That is a lovely puzzle. We are indeed singing in the rain here in the UK and uh, a delight to have a go at that one. Hope you had a good day. Hope to see you again tomorrow on Cracking the Cryptic. Um, bye for now.